Tansy ragwort is a biennial or short-lived perennial terrestrial weed. Native to Europe and Asia, Tansy ragwort was introduced to North America in the mid-1800s, likely as a contaminant in chips ballast. It's been reported in northwestern and northeastern North America. Tansy ragwort capitalizes on soil disturbance initially, but can subsequently move into undisturbed areas. It is especially problematic in pastures, grasslands, and open forests, generally with moist soils. It displaces native species in natural areas and reduces range and pasture production. All parts of the plant contain pyrrolizidine alkaloids that are responsible for stock fatalities, contaminating milk production, and tainting honey made from tansy ragwort nectar. Many people are also allergic to this weed. The life history of tansy ragwort varies depending on climate, and two life cycles are predominant in Western North America. In the Pacific Northwest, the plant typically acts as a biennial, Rosettes develop and put on considerable growth during the winter, then bolt early the following spring. Flowering may occasionally occur the first year, but is usually delayed until the second. Flowering in the Pacific Northwest occurs from July to September, after which time plants typically die. In the shorter growing seasons of the Inner Mountain West, the plant may behave as a short-lived perennial. Seed germination typically begins in spring. Seedlings increase in size throughout the summer, and only those with at least four to five rosette leaves successfully overwinter. Plants may remain as rosettes for an additional year, or they may bolt early the following summer and flower from July to October, then die back after seed release. Cutting or mowing the plant in either climate may cause it to grow as a perennial. Regardless of the climate, plants may have tap roots at first, but these give way to fleshy, fibrous roots. Rosette leaves are three to eight inches long and up to two and a half inches wide. They're stalked and have very ruffled margins. Rosette leaves often die back as the plant bolts and flowers. Stems typically grow one to three feet tall, but occasionally taller. They are rigid, furrowed, sometimes reddish tinged, and may be either hairless or lightly cottony. Stems grow singly or in clumps from the semi-woody crown. Only the upper half of stems branch. Stem leaves are deeply lobed with rounded segments. They are alternate, decrease in size further up the stem, and eventually clasp the stem. Flower heads are produced at branch tips in clusters of 20 to 300 total. What appears to be one yellow, daisy-like flower is actually a flower head up to one inch in diameter. This consists of approximately 13 yellow ray florets around the perimeter, which resemble petals, each up to three quarters of an inch long. In the center of the flower head are 50 to 60 disc florets that are tiny, yellow, and tube-like. The topmost bracts at the base of the flower head are often tipped in black. Both types of florets each produce a single, brown, ribbed, conical seed, each of these topped with a tuft of fine hairs that are readily carried by wind and water. Most seeds remain viable in the soil for up to eight years, though some have reportedly remained viable for much longer. A single plant may produce thousands of seeds. The weedy and exotic common tansy is often confused with tansy ragwort. Common tansy has a creeping root system, and its leaves are more finely divided, with pointier teeth. The leaves are very aromatic when crushed. Common tansy flower heads also have a maximum diameter of a half inch, and they have only disc florets. Because the sunflower family is one of the largest in the world, there are numerous related species in North America that have flowers similar to tansy ragwort. The combination of large, open, yellow flower heads with bulk disc and ray florets and thick leaves that are deeply lobed with rounded teeth helps differentiate tansy ragwort. Of the similar related species that occur in northwestern North America, most do not have lobed or toothed leaves like tansy ragwort, or they grow much smaller with significantly smaller features.